Hey, what's up guys? It's Deltray. We are back with some more Fire Emblem Fates Lunatic Conquest, and I have a proposition for you guys, actually. So first of all, this part is gonna be short. Like, really, really short. There is a reason for that. I'm uploading this very specifically because I have a plan. <laughs> first, though, this proposition, right? Let me tell you what you would get if you guys managed to pull through for me here a little bit. <laughs> So coming up real quick, one of the most infamous chapters in the game, chapter 25. I would probably say that barring Endgame, it's probably the chapter that most people remember as being kind of bullshit. So that chapter is coming up. However, it is a defeat boss map. All we need to do is have somebody kill the boss. And this guy's really patient. I'm not. I was going to beat it really quickly. However, we can play it straight if you guys can pull through for me on this one. I don't know how good that's <laughs> I don't know how good of an idea that's going to be. Probably gonna be my inevitable end if you're picking up what I'm putting down, but we'll see uh, what happens. The second thing that you guys would get <laughs> is an extra map, essentially. So from what I understand, the paralog for Ignatius is supposed to be utterly ridiculous if you wait really long into the game. So I figure, okay, if we can do this, let's just do it on the final map <laughs> and see what happens. Uh, the third thing you guys would get uh, well, we can leave that one to be a surprise. I guess you'll just have to see. <laughs> I guess you'll just have to see if we can do this or not. But trust me, uh, it's probably worth it. I'm sure you guys would prefer it this way. <laughs> it's gonna be a lot harder, I'll say that much. Maybe we can even get a little bit spicier with Ophelia, too. I was gonna, like, uh, she was gonna be kind of standard, but maybe we can get crazy if we can do this. Now, what is it that we're even trying to do here? Well, well, I'm trying to pay back an acquaintance of mine. Hell yeah, let's say payback. <laughs> I think that's probably the uh, best <laughs> choice of words here. I'm trying to pay back an acquaintance of mine. They are also a YouTuber, and quite frankly, I feel like it seems like every time uh, this person has like some kind of major event, I'm just like working or some crap, which really sucks because when they when they hit 50,000 subscribers, they, they they did like a like a rom hack, and I was actually in that, which was just insanely flattering. <laughs> Like, I was in it as a character, like, just, okay, if you would have told me when I was in middle school that there would exist a Fire Emblem game where I am a playable character, <laughs> like, may maybe that's, maybe that's not as cool to some people, but dude, that was, that, that's crazy, and I don't think I've ever publicly acknowledged that, so that's one reason. The other reason is that this person also recently had their birthday, and I thought, man, again, I, I just couldn't do anything because I was working. So I want to pay them back, but instead of doing anything nice, <laughs> instead of doing anything nice, what I instead want to do is just blow up whatever video they have put up today. <laughs> whatever video they have put up today, I just want to troll the shit out of it. So in the comment section below is a comment that you can just copy and paste, <laughs> essentially. And I, uh, there should be a link to a video down there too. And if you guys could do that, let's say. Ooh, I don't know if we could do like a hundred of those at least because guy it was a real bitch to record Final Fantasy Tactics because I like to respond to comments I don't know if you guys noticed that or not I like to respond to comments in the video and I couldn't find any worthwhile comments because of this guy my god it took me like an hour just to find everything I was looking for so instead of his most recent video having his comment section be anything related to Fire Emblem, I would rather it look like a stand-up comedian bombing on stage. Now that comment may not make sense to you, but it'll be... Just, just trust me, this is what it needed to be. <laughs> so, if we can do that 100 times, then hey, <laughs> it's gonna get crazier. And honestly, I would rather you just do that. If, if you were gonna comment on this video, just take the effort to do that, because it's way funnier to me. <laughs> So last time we did the end of the staircase, Lila died. I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna save most of that for the next part. I needed to record this chapter separately, anyways, because it's insanely short. Uh, so instead of, <laughs> instead of just continuing to go on like this, let's just jump into the map. Keep it short and simple. We will do more of the story stuff on the next one. It just, it wouldn't fit if I, it, it wouldn't fit if I did this like normal, honestly, because this chapter is incredibly short. But if things go well, we will be getting Ophelia, and her chapter's kind of hard, so I I'd rather that just be its own video, honestly. Okay, so with that, I think it's finally, finally, after like how long now? Uh, finally time we pick up Dwyer. So let's just go ahead and do that. Now, you would think that this next coming map would have been really cool, but it's not for a reason that I, uh, I'm sure we'll be seeing really quick here. Now, uh, mm, enemies are attacking the Rotting Mansion, where Dwyer, Jacob's son, lives. Jacob and company set out to confront the enemy while Dwyer hangs back as a healer, but not for very long. So Dwyer is probably one of, if not the single best kid in the entire game, I would probably say. 
Uh, maybe Percy. I guess. Uh, I'm gonna say Dwyer. I'm gonna say Dwyer for reasons we'll see more so on the next video, but we can talk about him a little bit uh, once the map starts, anyways. Now then, excuse me. Hello, anyone? I'm looking for my son, Dwyer. Hmm. As always, that lazy lout is probably snoring away somewhere. Clearly, his bad attitude has infected this whole village. Hmm, what a sleepy place. Why do I even bother fetching Dwyer his favorite coffee beans? How did I come to buttle my son when he should be running to serve me? So this... You know, I'm not even gonna complain about baby realms at this point. Like, I don't understand... Really, really what I've come to accept is that any kind of time travel shenanigans or any kind of time manipulation other than just the strict natural passing of time is usually really bad in video games because they don't they don't really think it through that much, I've come to realize. This game is definitely not an exception to that, so No, it's 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 not even worth thinking about really. Hmm, what's that? Who's there? I see you scurrying in the shadows. Get over here. Of all the of all the- my son can't even have- my son can't even have me greeted properly on my arrival. <sighs> what? How'd you get here? Did you follow me? Speak, villain! Now! Or I'll cut the answer out of you! With my nine speed- no, you're not cutting anybody, Jacob. Hey? You're gonna sit back, man. I think he actually is forced on this map, though. Uh, man, where's that fiend going? No! There are more of them, and they're breaking into Dwyer's house! Son, they're coming for you! <laughs> In what should honestly be a really cool defense map, but it's not. <laughs> For some reason, as you can see, this is defeat boss. Uh, yeah, Jacob is forced. I'm pretty sure that uh, for the paralogs, all of the all of the fathers are forced. So like, for Ophelia, Odin will be forced. If I get Sophie, Silas will be forced, and so on and so forth. A dude is always forced in hers. I think Azra is forced in hers. Not that you would ever not use Corrin <laughs> for some reason, but yeah, there you go. So this map is over, and that's not actually a joke, because the boss starts right here. And for some reason, you can just open this door. I don't know why you can just open this door, but it's a possibility, and it's exactly what's going to happen. I mean, honestly, it's not even really worth talking about who's here and why, because the only people that are going to be doing anything, and I, I do mean literally anything, are at least possibly Odin, and then... Azra and Dude. <laughs> and Camilla, I guess. Other than that, uh, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's really it. So something like that should be fine. Uh, if I somehow screw this map up, you will never hear from me mm -hmm. again. Uh, now Dwyer. So Dwyer's gonna be really kick-ass. I did make sure to give him... Well, we'll see in a second. <sighs> Who's that yelling like a maniac outside? As if I don't have enough trouble. <sighs> Is that my father? Of course he'd have to show up in the middle of all this. Well, forget him. I've got enough to worry about keeping us all alive in here. Everyone, stay close. I'll heal you up if you get hurt. <coughs> I feel like Dwyer would sound something like that. <laughs> huh, was that Dwyer? What's that damn fool doing? Hanging back? Letting others do the fighting for him? It's a disgrace! I agree, with stats like this? With parameters like this? Okay, so defeat the boss in not a fun map. Okay. So Dwyer! I gave him trample and I think rally defense just for the hell of it, because that's just about the best thing that dude could pass on, I think. Uh, maybe I should double check that real quick before I'm talking out of my ass here. Uh, she could have passed Dragon Fang, I guess. I think like, rally defense will be more, uh, be more useful, though, to have just a third unit who can do that besides dude or Gunter. Because Gunter's usually paired up with dude, and dude usually doesn't want to be hitting that rally if she doesn't have to, so I feel like that might help. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, Dwyer has some okay base stats, but the real trick here is these off-string seals. I don't think we've actually seen these yet, but it essentially bumps him up to a promoted class, the level of which will be determined by whatever chapter you're on. So right now we're on chapter 22, so he might go to like a level 4 promoted unit, I want to say. Whereas if I did this five chapters from now, he might be like a level 14 promoted unit by using this. However, if you gain any experience, uh, I, I, I'm not sure if it's any experience or if it's if you gain a level, but if you Essentially you can't save it you can't use this gain a bunch of levels uh, You can't save this gain a bunch of levels and then use the offspring seal to like basically inflate your stats No, you can only use it immediately or not at all 
So that is something to keep in mind. And again, I'm not sure if you can actually afford to say, recruit Dwyer at level 18, have him fight in his map, and then use the off-screen seal, but I do know that if you like change classes or level up or anything like that, you're disqualified, for sure. So keep that in mind. Uh, as you can see though, this map would have been kind of interesting had it been normal. <laughs> had it been a good map, this could have been fun. <laughs> I don't even want to say it's a bad map, because really it's not. It's just that you have the option to kill the boss immediately, and why would you not? In fact, the only reason that you wouldn't be doing what I'm about to do is if you're playing this map incredibly early. Because at this point, uh, these guys are actually pretty insane. All the guys around the boss are still promoted, regardless of when you do this, from what I recall. Uh, some of the other guys do go back to base classes, but as you can see, these guys would be ridiculous to try and face early on in the game, I would say. Uh, lots of sword masters, master ninjas, which, okay. <laughs> but none of that matters, because we can just uh, open the door with Yold and Laszlo. Have Elise fly on over here. We're doing this just because I'm pretty sure that Odin and Elise are like one or two attacks away from getting to S support. Oh, Elise is even going to dodge, so maybe we can get this kill with Elise then, I guess. Yeah, I guess we're just going to give this one to Elise. I was going to have Odin do it. Just simply for the support points and whatnot, but it's not gonna be necessary. So at least kill him. Goodbye. Yeah, this map is actually really disappointing to me. Uh, simply for the fact that it could have been awesome. Of course, you don't have to do it like this. You could play it straight, but there's really no reason to. You don't even get anything specifically for talking to Dwyer. Like you would think that at least, like maybe if at least recruiting him on this map gave you something extra, that would be something. But really, there's no reason to even even do this, honestly. So what we are going to do instead is we're going to take your girl, Camilla. She's going to fly over here. I gave her the dual club. And uh, this is going to like a GG. <laughs> I don't know why the boss starts so close to the like the start of the map either. If he would have been like really anywhere else, that probably would have helped out a little bit, I want to say. Like, or just, just not in range of everybody on the first turn. That would have been nice, you know? <laughs> I didn't even do anything special. I just literally gave Camilla the dude, and that was that. <laughs> But I mean, really, that is it. That, that's the whole map. There's nothing else to do here. Yeah, who knew she really had room to improve still? <laughs> Certainly surprised to me, I'll say that. Map clear. And that should bump us up to S support. They weren't there before. And since nobody else was doing anything, I figured just do all the supports and one go next time. So I, I guess look forward to that. <laughs> uh, that was pretty good, Father. You and your friends cleaned this place up. And that, my son, is why your remaining servants just left. Hmm? Huh? They did? Oh, I guess I guess I should mention this, though. If you do save all the greenies, you do get extra bonus rewards at the end of the map. Uh, perhaps the specifics are on screen right about now, but generally you do want to save them all. And since it's so easy to do it, why would you not, I guess, is <laughs> kind of what I'm getting at. Huh? They did? Um. Hmm. Even your caretakers, too. I'm not surprised the way you run this household. It's a den of sloth. Oh, no. Oh no, they really are gone. Now who's gonna help me maintain my high standard for squalor? Who will bring in all the dirt or feed hairballs to the dust bunny? I like this guy though, he's got his priorities straight. <laughs> I can't do it all by myself. Hmm. <laughs> You'll just have to take me with you, father. Huh. Huh, we, we all pull our weight in our group. I'd never vouch for you. You're going to stew here for the rest of your days in this mess of a place. Father? Uh, father, you missed one. Oh, never mind. I've got it. Uh, Dwyer, what in? You got a lot of nerve. Got a lot of nerve sneaking up on my father. Well, take this. Slappy face. I hate this game. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> uh, who knew? Victory. That's right. Never. Nobody can stand up to my fabled slappy face oh. technique. Oh, well, my stand corrected. You might not be able to handle a weapon, but your slap. Are we just really going to consider this an actual thing? Come on. <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Let me at least try to take this game seriously. <laughs> Huh, Dwyer, your slappy face is outstanding. I've never seen anything quite like it. Have you been in training? I guess so. Yeah, I guess so. Wait, are you kidding? 
because I don't always lazy around here. Well, how irksome. Exactly. <laughs> well, how irksome. Here I had you pegged for a complete loafer. But if you could fight even a little, why did you make your servants do it for you? Mm hmm? Hmm? Wasn't it their job to watch over me? I'd never rob them of their work. <laughs> With that sort of attitude, I'm afraid you'll never be good for much. Do you expect me to find you fresh caretakers to abuse? No. No, I'm gonna turn over a new leaf. I'll serve your friends. What? What? Oh. If you can buttle, I can buttle. I'll bet I buttle better. Say that five times fast. <laughs> hey, did you bring those coffee beans I wanted? Hand them over. I'll brew everyone a cup of the best coffee they've ever had. Way better than your shit, Dad. Oh, oh but that's my job. What's the matter? What's the matter? Afraid of a little competition? This should be fun. On guard, Father. I declare this battle of buttling begun. <laughs> Alliterative bastard, isn't he? <laughs> you don't stand a chance. I think he does, buddy. So by, by saving everybody, you get essentially all of these rewards that we're about to see. Uh, I think you do need to save all of them for the friendship seal, most of them for the talisman, and uh, that is that. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that match very, uh, very strange. Very straight. I really think it should have just been a defend map, because it has the design of a defend map, you know what I mean? But hey, that's not what they chose to do, so that is that. It is now nighttime, apparently. <laughs> Golly. Alright, let's just make sure this worked out, and it did indeed, so next time, this is going to be a thing. Uh, yeah, yeah, this is what we're doing next time. We're going to pick up Young Ophelia, and she's really good. So is Dwyer, for that matter. We can just look at his stats real quick, and what he's going to be doing. Uh, if I give him the offspring seal right now... Uh, he's not gonna go butler. I don't don't go butler. Butler's not a great class, really. Uh, it's got the staff utility, of course, and that's pretty much uh, one of the go-to classes for that, as far as Nor is concerned. But I say strategist. I definitely say strategist because it just has way better fighting stats. Honestly, just look at that. Just look at that. It's a huge difference. And on top of the mobility as well. Well, I, I say way better, but trust me, it does work out better, strictly because he'll be attacking on the magical side, which is the big thing, and Trample does still count for that. It doesn't care about physical versus magical, it just cares about mounted versus non-mounted, which is why it's super, super broken. Uh, so, strategist is, let's do it. Do it up big, and <laughs> Dwyer's actually gonna put the world on his back next time if I have anything to say about it. So look forward to that if you like Dwyer, really good kid, really good kid, and this is exactly the reason. You can pass him down basically anything you want. And since, uh, since Jacob has the ability to get really, uh, he has, the, he has the ability to get advanced skills very easily compared to other units, okay. Uh, hold up. Oh, and we also get rally resistance, so he's gonna shoot all the way up to level 8. I guess I, yeah, I miscalculated that a little bit. I think it increases by roughly 2 per map, and just for the record, those promotion gains are determined by a combination of... Just the regular promotion gains and the combination of it's essentially his average growths from level one to level seven at the or from level one to level eight at this point, if that makes sense. So he essentially promoted, got those gains, and then gained seven levels based on what his averages would be. <laughs> I hope you're following along. Okay, so here we have Dwyer. This is basically what it's going to be looking like going into uh, the young game here. I, I didn't really ex account for the fact that he was going to get rally resistance here, so that could be kind of nice, I guess. Uh, you don't select rallies individually. They all go off uh, every single one that you have equipped. So if I choose rally with Dwyer, he's giving not only plus four defense, plus, uh, but he's also giving plus four resistance on top of that. So that's actually really nice. Yeah, he's a pretty good uh, defensive rally bot, I suppose. Uh, so here's what he looks like. Uh, his stats don't necessarily indicate his overall useness because, again, that's just kind of a consequence of the pair op system. Uh, he also, again, he gets a straight plus five right off the top. If there would have been some way I could give him elbow room on top of this, Dwyer would actually just be insane. <laughs> no lie. But with a fire spell, he has an attack of like 30 something. It's, it, it's kind of insane. Uh, actually, let's just give him. Yeah, let's just give him these, because he's going to need these for the next map anyways, like you're in deep. But, just to prove a point, with the Thunderstruck, he actually has an attack of 33, which is pretty good. Times 2, most likely. So, considering that we're hitting res, he can do a huge number to really anything. He can probably do about 50 damage on average, <laughs> like, assuming he's doubling. So that's really good. That's really, really good. 
We're gonna be seeing a little bit more of that next time, though. And I, I didn't forget about all the comments you guys left in the last part either. Again, I just kind of want to throw that all onto like the like a, like a more typical part, I guess, or like a more standard length episode. I guess I feel like if I spent uh, an additional ten minutes talking about all of those right now, uh, the video would be literally nothing but but that essentially. So I'm gonna throw those onto the beginning of the next one. But, all that said, we are going to call it right here. So, yeah, again, a little bit of a shorter part. I'm sure there are some people out there who want all the parts to be like this. But, hey, hey, let me know how you feel about that when Three Houses comes out. Yeah, yeah, see whose channel you're on then. Yeah, that's right. What's up? What's up? Whose channel are you going to go to? The 20-minute channel or the hour and a half channel? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. Let's see how many comments I get when that game comes out. They say I should post shorter parts. Yeah, yeah, what's up? God, I hate Fire Emblem. I hate Fire Emblem fans. <laughs> Nothing I hate more than a Fire Emblem fan. Only thing I hate more than a Fire Emblem fan. Two Fire Emblem fans. God damn! <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You guys know there's a group of Fire Emblem fans called an argument. <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with me. I will catch you guys next time. Oh yeah, make sure to troll the shit out of this guy too. Again, you get three things and the mystery box. I think it's worth it for everybody. <laughs> See you then. Peace.